So, Smallfoot. It's now in theaters, everyone, so time to discuss it. Smallfoot is a film about a Yeti and his uh, population of fellow Yetis as they encounter a human, someone that they're not used to seeing, and it's basically about this one human who crash lands and the main Yeti uh, as they become friends, as well as it's about acceptance, and it's a pretty simplistic film. I'm not going to lie. Um... But let's just say this, it's a mixed bag of a film for me. So without further ado, as always, go straight to the positives. I think the voice acting was solid. I think Channing Tatum was good in this film. Um, I liked Danny DeVito's voice acting in this film as well, well as LeBron James. Um, the animation is always, um, it's top notch. I mean, we're kind of at the day and age now where it's like saying good animation. It's kind of like, okay, it goes without saying because it's, uh, ever so often hard to find animation that's actually like, oh, wow, this is awful. But it's passable. It's a, it's good animation for what it's going for. Um, I also thought the visuals were beautiful. They were, you know, admirable with what they were trying to accomplish. The messages of acceptance and being true to yourself are nice, if a bit derivative, which I know I said that with my school, but, you know, if, if a film is derivative, it's derivative. And that's what small fil small foot, my mistake, uh, this problem is. It's very derivative. This is a uh, film that you've seen before. This is um, basically Monsters, Inc., just dumbed down. This is a film that really doesn't try hard enough, I think, with trying to break new grounds or at least try and outreach the, um, you know, the adults in the audience. It just, it seems to just solely cater to the kids. And it's a shame because, again, I feel as though a, f a truly great animated film is one that can cater to both the adults and the children in the audiences. And this film, unfortunately, doesn't. It's a film that we've seen a thousand times before. And it, it's, it's, it's hard to review derivative films because it's one of those things where it's like specifically you can't really get into specifics as to what was bad. You can just say like, well, this was basic, this was basic, this wasn't special. And I know as a reviewer, it's kind of frustrating for you as a viewer to like listen in on and say, oh, wow, he's not really explaining. But it's like just one of those things where if you've seen enough films, you can kind of tell what's derivative and what's not. And I know that sounds pretentious, but it's, it's really the truth. I, I feel as though small foot really didn't bring anything new to the table for me. And I'm not saying solely that's the best thing for me to, you know, actually want something new. But I do think that if you do have an old idea and you have a new spin on it, that can also be done. And Smallfoot, unfortunately, I think didn't do that. And because of such as, you know, as unexplainable as it might sound like I'm, I'm being right now, it's just Smallfoot for me. It's just derivative. And I'll be giving it a three out of five star rating. Or for those like hot sauce rating, it gets, take a guess. Yep. Good old Frank's Red Hot. I know, guys, I know I've been uh, doing this rating a lot. But, you know, it's not me. It's the films that come out. So, Smallfoot, guys, though, uh, was it actually, you know, was it actually a film that you liked uh, upon, you know, watching it? Or was it a film that, like, you're kind of like me, where it's like, eh, it was derivative, nothing special? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be more than willing to hear you guys' discussion on the film, as always. And, uh, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I love the support, and uh, don't forget the subscription notification bell and uh 